All right, I'm going to go through how to edit your pictures in Photoshop from the start to the finish. Okay, we've gone through this in class, but for those of you who need a refresher, or if you were not here, um, this should help you out. So the first thing I want up is my Photoshop editing steps, and I'm going to work on this image right here. So first thing is, if your image comes in sideways like this, you want to rotate that. And if I go back here, it says rotate image if needed. Go to the image menu, image rotation. So image menu, image rotation. I'm going to go clockwise, 90 degrees. Double click my hand tool to fit it to screen. OK, number one, right click uh, the background layer select duplicate and name it fix so i go over here i right click duplicate name it fix all right so the, i have a background and a fix layer the fix layer is the one that i'm going to go to to make some adjustments to background stays untouched okay next is cropping so i can crop i can rotate and i can straighten i don't have to do all of those or any of those uh, but I want to come in here and see so I click on the crop tool it gives me a crop boundary and then I can go inside here if I want to and make my own crop boundary uh, move my handles so I'm gonna move this use my rule of thirds okay um, I don't really know what is straight and what is not straight so I'm not going to use the straighten tool I'm just going to go outside the edge and I'm going to make sure that leaf is hanging straight down like that. Okay, bring this in a little bit. This up a little bit. Okay, you want to press the return key, the checkbox, or double click on the inside to uh, let that take effect. Double click my hand tool to get closer. Okay, now I got my global adjustments, step three, four, and five. Levels, color balance, and vibrance. Levels is lightness and darkness. Color balance is trying to fix the white balance in the image. And then global vibrance, do you want it more bold or less bold in color? All right, so my adjustments are all right here. I'm going to go to levels first. White slider goes to the start of the mountains. Black slider goes to the start of the mountains. Gray is the midtones. That's the one that's going to make the most adjustment. I'm going to darken it down a little bit. Okay, something like that. All right, then I'm going to go to color balance. Color balance is off in this image. Uh, it's a little too warm. So what I want to do is uh, pull some of the, the red out, go toward the cyan. Uh, maybe pull a little bit of the yellow out. Okay, remember if you want to see it before and after, you just click the eyeball of that layer. All right, vibrance. Vibrance overall saturation is the saturation slider. Vibrance is going to work on the duller tones. So I think I want to um, make it a tiny bit more saturated. So that's looking good. Now I'm going to go to my local adjustments. The first local adjustment, I have some control, but not a whole bunch. I only have control over the shadow and highlights. It tells me I must be on the fixed layer, and I go to Image, Adjustments, Shadow Highlights. So I'm on the fixed layer. Go to Image, Adjustments, Shadow Highlights. Zero out the sliders. Now the shadows are going to try to lighten as I go to the right. Okay. I don't want that. I'm going to leave it at zero. The highlights try to darken as I go to the right. I don't want that as well. So I'm not going to use shadow highlights, so I'm going to cancel that out. If you weren't going to cancel it, you'd press OK. All right, dodging and burning with um, a levels layer and a paintbrush. And saturation and desaturation with a vibrance layer and a paintbrush. All right, so I'm going to go to the topmost layer. 
I'm going to, I want to darken the background. Okay, so I'm going to take my midpoint slider and take this to the right and darken it down a little bit. Now, I could paint with black on the white mask or I could invert it and paint with white on a black mask. Okay, depending on what I want to paint in. So, I like the adjustment of the darkness around, but the leaf got too dark. So I'm going to leave it the way it is, and I'm going to paint with black. Okay. Uh, remember, black conceals, white reveals. Well, uh, white's revealing the adjustment. I want to conceal the adjustment because the adjustment was to darken. And I don't want it dark. So I'm going to grab my brush. I'm going to right click. It should be somewhat firm because I'm going to go around the edges of the leaf. Press the return key for this to go away. Make sure I'm painting with black. I'm going to go a little bit closer so you guys can see. All right. So I'm going to go around with a bigger brush. Reduce my brush size so I can get a better handle on the edges. Now I don't have to go crazy uh, as far as getting too precise with this because a leaf is a natural object. It's going to have light and dark areas in it, so if I miss a tiny bit, it's not going to really affect anything. So I'm just uh, painting that lightness back in, which was in the original adjustments. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm painting out the adjustment that I made for the darkness. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I'm going to double click that and call this um, leaf. Alright, now what I want to do is um, I'm done lightening and darkening. I want to desaturate some of the background colors because they're too bright and I want to saturate more of the leaf. So that's going to be two different vibrance adjustments. So I'm going to focus on the background first. I'm going to take some of that saturation out and the vibrance out. Now it looks too much, but remember you're going to paint that back in. So this time I'm going to inverse the mask okay, to bring it back. And now I'm going to paint with white with a softer brush. So I'm going to right click, grab a softer brush, increase right bracket. And I'm going to come in here to some of these yellow tones that are drawing your eye, which you want your eye drawn to the leaf. You don't want it drawn to the background. Okay, so I'm going to come around here. Just going to paint some of that out where I think it's too bright. All right, so that looks good. If you want to adjust that, you can double click and adjust the saturation of that. Dial in exactly what you want. Okay, next I'm going to use a vibrance layer. Well, first of all, let's name this. Let's go desaturate, D-E-S, uh, background, E-G. I'm going to add another one. This time I'm going to brighten up the leaf. So I'm going to take my saturation. I'm just looking at the leaf here. I'm going to take it way up like that. All right, I'm going to make this black, Command I, or you could go to Properties, Invert. Okay. Uh, so now I'm going to come in here with a firmer brush. sure it's up 80s, 90s, somewhere in there. Uh, go ahead and paint in the large areas with a large brush. Okay, 
that's really affecting that orange, which I like. Gives it sort of a fall feel to it. I'm going to decrease my brush size, left bracket. Just going to sort of randomly paint around in the leaf because it's only really, it's not affecting the green so much. It's affecting sort of the yellowish areas that will brighten that up. Okay, so that looks good. So if you want to see a before and after, there to there. Okay. Now, touch up must be on the fixed layer. And what I want to do is use my clone stamp healing tools to fix any areas that I see are distracting. Okay, so I got a couple of distracting things over here. Um, a few little hiccups by the leaf that I can fix. I can choose spot healing. Photoshop takes total control. Healing brush. I option click in an area and then I click in another area to lay down that and it smooths or blends out the surrounding colors. Or I can choose the cone stamp tool which acts the same way. I option click in an area to pick up and then I click in an area to lay down. It does not blend. All right, so I'm gonna go spot healing brush and let take let Photoshop take control. Um, I'm gonna zoom a little bit closer. I have my finger on space bar and then command and then I can zoom closer. All right, I'm gonna go over that and maybe again get more of a natural look to it. Uh, I think right there, I'll get that out of there. A couple times, go over it. Okay, click my hand tool. So that looks good. All right, I'm gonna go closer on the leaf. A couple areas in here I could fix. Remember, reduce the brush size. You only want the brush as big as the flaw. So this flaw is small, so I'm gonna click and drag down that. That over there, right there, a little bit there. That looks pretty good. Uh, if you wanted to, you could mess with that a little bit. Okay, so that looks good. So I think I'm done with my image here. All I have left to do is to sharpen it up. Sharpen it, you want to go back to the fix layer. You want to go to filter, um, sharpen. Smart Sharpen. Okay, you want the radius to be 1 to 2, reduce noise under 30, and the amount is going to be what you're going to really deal with here. So you want to get the leaf in uh, at 100%, and you simply bring the amount up until you see that sharpening occurring, and you'll naturally know when that sweet spot is and you're going to press OK once you're done. Okay, so I'm done with this image, right? So right here it says, how do I save that? You want it in a Photoshop format. You want to save it as first name, um, last name, underscore the project, underscore the picture. So I'm going to go file, save as on the computer. All right, my first name, Chris underscore DuPont underscore project one one underscore photo one. Okay, I'm going to do it to my desktop and make sure the format is Photoshop and save and press OK. All right, now I can close out of that. I can close out of this and notice this is. Uh, done right here. I'm going to go into my picture folder, project one, edited. That would go right into there. So that would be my first edited picture. All right. Hope that helped.